Worcestershire sauce. All right, guys, Eli's famous shredded chicken tacos. You hey, guys, I'm back with Abundance Rising Family. I know you like my pancake video, and you're gonna love this one. Today, we're gonna make shredded chicken tacos. Let's get started. First, we start by grabbing a skillet. Now, I make, we make a lot of food, so we are going to put a reasonable recipe in the description box below. Okay, we're gonna get started. We're gonna put some oil in the bottom of this pot pan so that we, so that we can cook it. Now, we're gonna put a quarter cup of minced garlic. So we're gonna measure this out. Make sure we add enough minced garlic. Then we're going to put it in the pan. Then we're gonna add um, two teaspoons of chili powder. Now we're gonna use this side and we're gonna pull all the chili powder Leave the lid. Then I'm gonna grab the one teaspoon, not tablespoon, teaspoon. And we're gonna get one. Teaspoon of chili powder. Then We're going to put it to a medium heat. So we're going to uh, cook it for a minute or two before we add any other ingredients. We want the soft to be well. Now that our minced garlic and chili powder is cooked, we are gonna add one teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna mix it around for a sec and get the salt all in. And then we're gonna add two cups of orange juice. Ugh. First, let's start by cleaning. One. Oops. Two. And we're gonna add some. Or just higher shot, so. We are going to add one fourth cup of Worcestershire stuff sauce. One fourth cup of Worcestershire. Okay, now we're going to pour 
Nu hat Kap a Wurstschaft. And we stir it all in together. Then we're going to get our chicken. So my mom helped me cut the chicken really thin. The thinner it is, the faster it'll cook. I recommend you do the same. We are going to pick up thin piece, the thin piece of chicken and we're gonna put it in there. And we're kinda gonna put it in there, cover the top and stuff, and then we're gonna flip it over and then it's covered in sauce and then we're gonna grab our next piece of chicken and we're gonna do the same. We're, we're gonna wanna try to fit as many pieces of chicken as we can. It's okay if they touch. Try, try to fit as many as you can in there. And we're gonna keep on putting them in the wash, in the sauce and flipping it over and putting it as close to the next one as we can. Yeah. How the sauce is going over all of it. It's really good. Now, now, guys, we're gonna fill this bad boy up. It's okay if they're kind of on top of each other. You just want to make sure that they get covered in wash and all the in the sauce. We're gonna kind of like that. See how I fit it right in between, pushing this one a little bit up. Now you're gonna try to get all of your chicken that you have inside of your skillet. Put it in there. Now if there's room, a piece of chicken's gonna be stuffed in there. Keep going. We're gonna put this there. Now we're gonna flip it over and wash this other sauce. And Keep this bad boy going. It figures that we'd lose audio halfway through my best video ever. No worries, we're gonna keep this bad boy rolling. Simmer that chicken medium low for four minutes. Now guys, this is a good place to put the lid on. Let's do it. See you guys, they don't make lids big enough for our pan. It doesn't even fit all over all the chicken. been about four minutes. Let's take this lid off and see what we're working with. The tools you will be needing are tongs, a thermometer, and pot holder. Ask your parents for help if it's too hot. Well, even though I'm good at this, I asked my parents for help. Moms are so good, they don't need oven mitts. They can just take that thing off. We're gonna flip them and cover them in the Worcestershire sauce. Okay, now we need to go back and flip every single piece of chicken. Thanks to my brother for making sure the thermometer works. Man, I really fill this pan up. Flipping and flopping. Wow, my brother's really interested in that thermometer. How much chicken do we cook anyway?
Yep, still flipping. Now it's time to put the lid on. Medium low, four minutes. You know the drill. Okay, so what we're putting in our tacos is fresh lettuce from my sister's garden that she's worked really hard for. Gotta make sure it's clean. So while the ch chicken finished cooking, um, I, we are going to start cu cutting up the toppings. Joshua is going to get the cilantro ready, Mom's going to be cutting the tomatoes, and I'm going to be cutting the lettuce. My sister's been working very hard on her garden, and she works so hard, and we have fresh lettuce from the garden now. And we are cutting, I am cutting up fresh lettuce from my own sister's garden. Now that's pretty amazing. While we're doing the cilantro, Mom's heating up the tortillas in the stove top. There's always a lot of activity in our home. One cup of cilantro, ready to go. There she goes, taking off that lid without pot holders again. And another brother interested in a thermometer. Make sure that chicken reaches 165 degrees. Now it's time to turn the heat off. Now my mom got a big bowl to transfer the cooked chicken into. Now we're going to transfer it into a bowl with our clean pair of tongs. We're going to speed this up so we don't waste your time. Wow, look at me go. First we turned it off, now we're turning it back on to stick in the sauce. Let it cook for another three to five minutes. Now we're gonna get two forks and tear this chicken apart. Just keep shredding, just keep shredding, shred, 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 shred. It won't take you this long to shred the chicken. As I said before, an unreasonable amount. We don't do anything in moderation. Mom's slipping tortillas. The stove is cooking the sauce, and I'm shredding the chicken. Of course, we're still shredding. It's okay to ask your parents for help, especially when there's this much work to do. All right, chicken shredded, sauce is thickened. Let's mix them.
And now we use a starting rod to stir it all together, just for good measures. And now we add cup one, cup two, cup three of cilantro, and mix. Now that it's all mixed, let's do the boogie boogie dance, yeah! Warm tortillas, cooked chicken, and lettuce. I mean, come on, let's be honest. What more could you want? Mr. Benjamin, tomatoes. All right, guys, Eli's famous shredded chicken tacos. You ready to give them a try? Dig in. Eli Johnson, starting a restaurant. 